In this presentation, we will see how to solve four area load panel issues in S-Frame when using the Span Direction tool. Often we encounter some issues using this tool, like some polygons showing a red colored area. Below we will show four reasons that may cause this issue. The members are not included in the area load members folder. The intersecting members may be passing through a joint, but are not connected to it. An area load panel has an angle bigger than 180 degrees and a panel that contains non-connecting members. Here I have the model that I'm going to be using for these examples. For the first case, if I go to the panel element tool and shrink element for visual checks, I will see I have two area load panels defined. Now if I go to the span direction tool, I see I have some issues around this panel. First thing you will need to check is that every member that conforms this panel is included in the area load members folder. So if I click here, I see that clearly these elements are not part of the same folder. I only have these elements. The way to proceed will be select all the horizontal members. Once selected, I can update the folder and that should fix the issue. So I go to select, select special, I click this button by geometry, select only the horizontal elements. Then I can right click in my folder, the area load members folder and update open group. I select my whole structure. I can see that the span definition tool is working. Here we have another file, basically the same structure, but if I go to the span direction tool, I see I have this issue again. The first thing I need to check is the area load members folder and see that every member is added to that folder, which seems to be correct. So there's another reason for the issue to happen. One thing we can check is if we click the shrink element for visual checks command, we see we have these analytical members we also have some physical elements like these long beam members right here which indicates this is the starting joint and the end joint. These nodes may not be connected to this beam and there are two possible solutions to correct this issue. One solution will be go to settings, preferences and select this option model using physical elements. If we click there and we click OK and if I go to my structure folder, I can see that the issue has been fixed. And you can corroborate this if you have this option available. So if I go back, go to preferences, click here, and click OK, it's grayed out, so this means that physical members are not being used. Another way to fix this issue will be to go to Edit, Analytical Model, and connect intersecting members and joints. With this command I will make sure that these joints are connected to this long member. So if I click I can see the issue has been resolved. Here we have a similar model, a bit different in geometry. This column has been moved in the negative x direction by one meter first thing I will need to check is the area load members folder. I can see all these elements I'm interested in are, are included in this folder. Then if I go to the panel element tool, click in this option, shrink element for visual checks, I will see I have two panels defined. And if I go to the span direction tool, I'll see this red area right here. This is due to the angle defined in this polygon is concave bigger than it has a angle bigger than 180 degrees one way to solve this issue will be to split this panel into two I go to the panel element tool I delete this panel holding control with the click of the mouse and define two new panels here 
here's our first panel and then we define our second panel now that I have two with an angle less than 180 degrees at each end I can go back to the span direction tool select the, the one-way span and apply this to my panels for the fourth case this happens very often when we have wind load cases when we define air load panels in the set X plane first thing we'll need to check is the air load members folder everything seems to be added to this folder now if I go to the panel element tool and it's shrink elements for visual checks I see I have all these air load panels defined but if you notice there's a missing member right here and you'll notice when I go to the span direction tool where I have to find the two-way span directions but here there's an issue and showing a red area one way to solve it and it's pretty easy is if I go to the member definition tool and define that missing member now if I come back again the span direction tool of course you will still see this area, red area because the member I just defined is not added to my folder so I just need to go to area loads members you can use the selection tool select this missing member and update your group now if you go back to the span direction tool you will see the issue it's being resolved thank you for watching and for more tutorials and videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel